My first interest in medicine um, started with an experience with my grandfather. He had cancer and there weren't many treatments available. I felt like I could maybe make a difference and change those outcomes for other people so they could be more fortunate than he was. So I was a psychology major and I was doing my research at the time on health disparities. It really resonated with me coming from a rural um, place in Alabama. I just wanted to be kind of a part of the solution. Um, I saw a need in my community and, and other rural and underserved areas and I just kind of wanted to be a part of it. I switched tracks and did a post -bac program and decided to come to med school. I moved to the States back in 2001 uh, from Columbia. I've grown up as an American and I've been very blessed to, to have all the privileges you know, of living in America. So when I went back mo on multiple occasions, I got, I got exposed to a lot of illness, stricken areas, a lot of kids that were my age and were really sick. And I got to see that firsthand and I just I felt like a calling to, to help those in need and, and th those communities that need help so desperately. You know, not just in Colombia, but you know, in the United States, I, I felt a calling to do that, to help those people. What I'll say to a student who is interested in attending the University of South Alabama College of Medicine is, we are small, we're personal, and the quality of education you're going to get, it will be second to none. You know, where we've been incredibly proud is uh, the step uh, two exam that comes after they've had a full three years of both our preclinical and clinical curriculum. Uh, we've performed significantly above national average for years now, which uh, I think is a testament to uh, not only how great our students are and you know their motivation and dedication to learn, but also how great our faculty uh, are in designing this you know curriculum. When I was looking for a med school, I noticed some of the Texas universities, since I'm from the Midwest, they have class sizes of 200 and the faculty to student ratio was abysmal. It's, you're not going to see your teacher unless you set a meeting like a month in advance. But at South, you can literally walk in their office almost any moment. Many a times I would just like walk up the hallway, knock on their door and then ask them a question and they give me like a lecture for 30, 45 minutes just because I came in and asked. And I mean, that's a big deal. The fact that your professors are accessible, they don't mind helping you after hours, it's a big deal. I knew that coming out of the gate, my professors would probably know me, um, the MDs would probably know me, and I'd have way more hands-on experience than other places. When you think about what you would want as a medical student, it's not to be in the back of a room trying to look and see around a bunch of other people. It's, I want to do procedures. Within the first month of them starting, any student starting medical school here, we're already teaching not only the clinical skills uh, necessary to, to be a physician, but we're already getting our students out into the clinical environment uh, in a program that we call the, the clinic. It gets them seeing this is what it's like to be a physician very early. I was shadowing an anesthesiologist and he was like, all right, get in here. And he just handed me things and he stood behind me with his hands over mine. And that was just something that I felt was so personalized, right? Like here, a second year medical student got to do things that, you know, third and fourth year medical students at other universities never even dream of. I mean, it really, like, it really was just like, I'm getting goosebumps. It was absolutely amazing. I could not stop talking about it for, for days. One of the unique things about South, it is made up of people of all walks of life, whether it's religion, ethnicity, age, where they've been before. Just kind of getting to see that diversity, I really feel like it's going to impact me as a physician because all my patients are going to be diverse in that way. It's been really cool getting to know the other 70-something people in my class that have a lot of different backgrounds because how do you learn if you're not around other perspectives? I had no one who looked like me, and faculty are classmates by the time I graduated from, from South Alabama. If you look at the diversity within the classes, this campus has changed in every aspect that you can imagine. It is much more culturally diverse. You get people like me, you get the immigrants, you get people like we have a, uh, an individual in our class, she's a lawyer. She went to law school, she has kids, she has a husband, and she had always had that calling to become a doctor. And South was like, all right, you know, come on, like, let's make it happen. You get to see people from all, all walks of life. It's amazing how many of the students come on their interview day and they say, this is the first time I've been to Mobile. I was kind of nervous coming here because I was like, oh, it's pretty small. 
but there's so much to do. It really is kind of a smaller town feel here in Mobile, so everything's actually really close. You can easily get to Dolphin Island to go to the beach. Um, you can easily get to Orange Beach or Gulf Shores. All those places are within an hour away. I love when people from out of town come in and it's like, let me show you this great thing. You know, like Mardi Gras is a great example. It's a really beautiful town. All the old trees, the old houses that are here. I live in Midtown, um, which is where a lot of students live because it's close to downtown, close to the hospital. It's been really cool to see it kind of develop as I've been here. I love the area. I was born and raised here and I love the people here and I wanted to serve this area and, and be educated by this institution. The best thing about South, I think, is that there are people around who are willing to help you succeed. There's our study strategists. There are various student interest groups like OBGYN interest groups and various specialty interest groups that you're able to learn more about the fields. You can go to any groups that you'd like to and just kind of learn. And you also find your classmates and your colleagues who are also interested in some of the similar things. So it just kind of helps build community. The family environment is just so essential to get through the four years of medical school. Faculty just genuinely care. They just care about you, right? As, as a human being, your classmates also care. And they're there to help you along the way if you need that. It, it really is just a fantastic community. The work they do in the community brings them together. The work they do in class brings them together. The, the active and team-based learning exercises brings them together and they're just a really close-knit group of students. I know everyone's name, everyone knows who I am. I can talk to any of them. We're all in this together to like be good physicians one day. This is why I'm in the right place at the right school. It'd really be the friends that I've made here and the relationships that we've had and kind of the way we've been able to support each other and help each other along. I mean, med school is hard enough, so you want a supportive environment and you want people that are gonna want you to succeed. And so that was really kind of the big thing for me in choosing South.